Hey! Good evening. I'm really happy to have you here. My name is Daniel. I was a professional opera singer and beatboxer. And tonight we're going to be listening to Pentatonix's mashup of New Rules and Are You That Somebody? So I remember I heard this when it first came out, but I haven't really heard it since then and I don't really remember how it goes at all. But also, the last few Pentatonix videos I did had Avi in them and I wanted to make sure that I covered Matt as well because I have said in past videos that I do really like Matt's voice and I just want to give him some love where to do. So here's to you, Matt. <laughs> but more than anything, I'm really excited to jump into this tune. I remember it having a really good groove and that's pretty much all I remember about it. So I'm excited to revisit this and I hope you are as well. So without any further delay, let's just jump into it. Sleeping at night, making myself crazy. Out in the night, out in the night. Wrote it down and read it out, hoping it would save me. Too many times, too many times. My love, uh. it makes me feel like nobody else, nobody else. But my love, he doesn't love me so. I tell myself, I tell myself. Phone. You know he's only coming cause he's drunk and alone too Don't let him in, you'll have to kick him out again ah! Don't be his friend, you know you're gonna wake up in his bed in the morning And if you're under him, you ain't getting over him I got no rules I count Pushing forwards, but he keeps pulling me backwards. Now I'm standing back to me. I finally see the past. Oh, yeah. You know he's only coming cause he's drunk and alone too Don't let him in, you'll have to kick him out again Three, don't be his friend You know you're gonna wake up in his bed in the morning And if you're under him, you ain't getting over him I got no rules I count To pick up the phone, you know he's only coming cause he's wrong and alone Two, don't let him in, you have to kick him out again Three, don't be his friend, you know you're gonna wake up in his bed in the morning If you under him, you ain't getting over him I got no rules I can't Yeah, oh, I got no rules I can't Baby Gosh, that was so much better than I remember it being. Oh my gosh, dude. First off, the beatboxing was incredible, dude. It was so, so good. Just so consistent and varying textures, but always staying true to the fundamental drum and bass. And Kevin's snares were so clean and came in right on those offbeats. Yeah, dude, just uh, so clean. And that bass line was all over the place. It was so complex and paired so well, not just with the rest of the group, but with Kevin, just creating that very strong foundation for the group to riff off of. Also, just in terms of the vocals from Kirsten mentioned Scott, just doing that broken arpeggio that, dum, dum, dum. but Scott only has that brief moment of, my. And you have to absolutely trust yourself to nail it right in the center of that pitch to complete the chord and then move right into the new musical cadence. Dude, what? That takes a lot of not just 
practice of the piece, but it takes a lot of technical skill and voice mastery to be able to not just have that level of confidence in hitting the note, but understand where that note rests in your voice to be able to generate the sound, not interrupt the flow or the momentum of the piece at all, and carry it into the next musical cadence. That piece was so complex, just in terms of its arrangement. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> Let's pick it apart a little bit more in the analysis here. Just in the beginning, Kevin just hitting you with these kick drums. And this bass line from Matt is so smooth. That day just adds a little touch of contrast from the dooms. And adding that contrast just gives us a sensation in our bodies that we're just going to be flowing with varying textures, even though it's all going to fit within the tonal center of the piece, just knowing that it's not going to all be dum 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 throughout the entirety, but just having a little bit of contrast in that bass line, that's actually really important to have, just to not have something feel as mundane as something foundational as a bass line. So it's really nice having the day and the dum just come together so cleanly with the percussion. So, so well done here. First off, both of those guys have so much swag. It's crazy. But Kevin just coming in with those snares. Like... It wasn't exactly what he did, but the idea of that kind of groove and those snares are just so clean. It just sets this very strong tonal center of the piece right in the first 10 seconds. And notice how these sounds don't really linger into the next sound. They're very crisp and very clean as they move from sound to sound, but it all does fit within the same musical cadence. Not to say that the sounds themselves are very choppy and staccato, but just to say that they're very crisp and they're not very breathy where that breath would flow into a new sound. It's very exact and I love this precision. And also, you might have heard Kevin do those, which are breathy sounds. It's very controlled, though, and very precise is what I mean. Talking in my sleep at night, making myself crazy. Yeah, and this is where that connecting thread comes in, just in the vocal lines, where that vocal line is very smooth. Talking in my sleep at night, making myself crazy. It just flows so smoothly, and that in contrast with the absolute crisp precision of the percussion and bass line. It's so, so nice to have that contrast. It's really, really valuable in this kind of music. Talking in my sleep at night, making myself crazy. Out in the light, out in the light. That was an incredible unison from Kirsten and Mitch there. Just where they have that out in my mind where you start on a note, very gently tweak it up to oh, and then fall into in my mind. And just to have this light, delicate feeling as the background to Scott's leading melodic line, it's such a good groovy atmosphere that you just get from this kind of precision in the vocal line, let alone the foundation of the piece. Wrote it down and read it out, hoping it would save me. Oh, what a great growth there. Uh, yeah, dude, love that. Also, Kevin's beatboxing here, uh, it's so good, especially on those offbeat snares. So clean. Oh, it's such a good groove. Oh, yeah, dude, just feeling that emotional pull with that. Oh, oh my gosh. He makes me feel like nobody else, nobody else. But my love, he doesn't love me so I tell myself, I tell myself. One. Oh my gosh, Kevin's 
beatbox line here. It's so clean, dude. So good. the phone. You know he's only calling because he's drunk and alone. Two, don't let him in. You'll have to kick him out again. Three, don't be his friend. You know you're gonna wake up in his bed in the morning. Oh, uh, oh, 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 oh. Such good background vocals, dude. Just so consistent, clean, just creating those perfect harmonies and doing so so consistently. It feels so effortless, even though it obviously isn't to create these kinds of sounds. Oh my gosh. Just the absolute precision of this piece is mind boggling, dude. Kick him out again, three. Don't be his friend. You know you're gonna wake up in his bed in the morning. And if you're under him, you ain't getting over him. Uh. I got no rules again. I got no rules again. Are you that somebody? Tell me that somebody. Yeah, and this beatboxing line again. Ah, oh, it's just. It just flows so well with the rest of the group, dude. It's so consistent. Like, every single sound is placed so precisely that the moment that the next verse comes in, you're going to hear this vocal line maybe accented with a few new sounds to add a little bit more contrast. But ultimately, the foundation is still the same and still clean and exact and precise and so good. Uh, wow! <laughs> So, so awesome. And just that textural contrast in the beatbox line again. Like, listen to that again. Push him forwards, but such a great cutoff. Everybody stopping right on that dime. So good. Are you that somebody? Oh, I, got it. I keep pushing forwards, but he keeps pulling me backwards. <laughs> such a whimsical effect, but creates again so much flair and contrast in that foundation for the rest of the group to springboard off of into this new musical cadence. Such a good choice in the arrangement there. And notice how we're getting more of these hi-hats in comparison to the just simple drum and bass of now we're getting it just flows so consistently but there's so much contrast in that foundation i know i'm repeating myself so much but you just don't get this a lot it's so well arranged just enough contrast from the beginning to know that there's a lot of variance in the piece but it is still consistent with the tonal center that we established in the first 10 seconds that it doesn't feel like it's out of place it's just so well arranged i'm having such a difficult time expressing my felicity on this but there's just no other way to phrase it presently. I finally see the Listen to this bass line. Oh my gosh. He see the Oh my gosh. Phone. You know he's only coming cause he's drunk and alone Two, don't let him in You'll have to kick him out again Three, don't be his friend You know you're gonna wake up in his bed in the morning And if you're under him, you ain't getting over him I got ah. Yeah, dude, it's such a good flow. <laughs> oh, what a good hey. Like, it wasn't hey, but it also wasn't hey. It was that good center of the Venn diagram where it was very energized and well supported, but it wasn't a war cry at the same time. It was very smooth and it fit the tonal atmosphere very, very well. Are you that somebody? Oh, I've got to tell you hey. Yeah. If I let you go, you can't tell nobody. I'm talking 
talking about nobody Like you're responsible Boy, I gotta watch my bag Cause I'm not just anybody ah. Don't want to pick up the phone You know he's only coming cause he's wrong and alone too Don't let him That bass line is just adding so much drag in the pitch Just that dum, dum, Instead of dum, dum, dum. And just letting that note bleed. It's like dipping a thick paintbrush in a tub of paint and then just smearing it across a blank canvas and then just watching that mm, that fall. Oh my gosh. And having that quick brush across is Kevin's very crisp preciseness in the sound. clean cutness and this groove, this flow. Oh my gosh. So many great choices in this arrangement. And I love the vowel manipulation in the rest of the group. Oh, oh, uh. Just opening up that vowel to show that there is a tremendous growth happening in this build and it's it's a great audible cue to know that there's not only growth happening in the leading melodic line, but in every other element of the piece, in the beatboxing, in the bass line, in the background vocals, just constantly growing, not just in terms of volume or dynamic, but also in the vowel manipulation, in the o oh, ah, going from closed vowels of o oh, to open vowels of ah. And those are really good choices for musical builds in this, in this context. What a great way to end the piece. Just on that dime, everybody cuts out just for Scott's last couple notes. So well arranged. I want to listen to that one more time. Oh yeah, dude. What a good groove. What It was so consistent and it flowed so well. So well arranged and the execution of it was so clean, so exact. It feels like it would have been a signature piece for them. It was that well executed. Oh my gosh, just... I really don't remember that piece being that good, that rhythmically and musically complex, but oh, it was just, every element of it was just so rich from the beginning where we get this strong foundation, but at the same time, it doesn't feel like it's too heavy. It starts off in a really good place of concentration where it has so much room to explode and grow. And that's exactly what it does, only instead of really exploding out into something huge, it is just constantly growing and the build is just constantly happening throughout the entirety of the piece until we reach about 75, 80% of the way through the piece where we just reach our climax and just allow the entire groove of the piece to come together with the crispness of the beatboxing, with the sultry smooth flow of the bass line and the backup vocals, with the leading melodic line from Scott just constantly flowing with the rest of the vocalists, and just having these different contrasting textures just all coming together to create this very well-structured, unified piece. It's so satisfying. Oh yeah, dude. What a great performance of that piece. I loved that, man. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching this video. If y'all liked it, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you didn't like it, please leave a dislike and let me know why in the comments below. I do read all of the comments, even if I may not hard a reply to all of them. So please just know that your comments do not go unnoticed. And I do take them into further consideration as I make future videos. My live streams are currently Thursdays at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you guys would like to stop by and say hey or ask any questions about myself or the channel, I'd be more than happy to be there for you guys. I'm uploading content to Patreon right now as we speak, so hopefully that'll be up and running within the next week or two, and I'm really excited to share that with you, and I deeply appreciate your patience as I continue to navigate uploading to Patreon. <laughs>
I want to take this time to express how grateful I am that you guys are here watching these videos and from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. And I can't wait to see all of you in the next video. Have a great rest of your evening, everyone.